Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials and this is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about accessing content context in Appium Inspector. Okay, how we can able to see in the my previous video, if you see this particular step, right? We are able to set up our code and we are able to run up to here when it is coming to this particular location because it is not able to verify this particular element whether it is disabled or uh, displayed or not whether it is displayed or not if it is displayed if it will give for pass with all the things but we are getting for no such element exception something the element is not presented we got it right a similar format now how we can able to do it means if you comes to here <clears throat> you comes to here see now if you click for source after source there is a commands will be presented in the commands in case if you are using very old one you will see for actions okay if you see for commands means latest version only no need to problem okay in the commands okay in a very old version if you see the actions location also it will display like this okay you can click for here, but this one is like a, a new version. It is coming for different approach. Okay, but when you go for commands, there is a context. There is a last one. Context will be presented. And after that, you need to select for subgroup as well. That is called context. Okay, similar format you have to select for here as well. Okay. Once you selected, okay. If you see, there are three options will be presented. Okay. There are three options will be presented. One is get current context. If you click get context, what will happen? It will give for how many apps will be presented. There is a one negative app is presented. Okay. If you click for get context list means it will give for list of array. What are the things are presented in this particular app in this location? All the things which will be shown. Okay, that is a negative app and web view, Google, Android, GMS, and also it is presented for Chrome view. Our main view that is a Chrome because we need to jump for Chrome view as well because the Facebook purpose. Okay, then if you want to set something, you can able to set here. Okay, very rare case we are going to use for set context and these are the two things we are going to use it. Now also we are going to display for these two contexts. Okay, before doing this checkpoint, <clears throat> I'll comment now. Okay, now I'll display one after one console a dot log, and then I'm going to use for await dollar. Then we can able to sorry, not this one driver dot a get context okay get context is a function it will return for which is single function will be presented okay if you take for s it will give for multiple list of values it will return okay we'll see for these two options whether it will provided or not before that we can able to go for back here Now I'm running here. Now, once it is up, we'll see. Now it is click for that particular app as well. Then we can able to see here. If you go a little bit, there is a context. Context it is having for negative app. Context it is having for three options. You can able to see this particular one. See? And 
context it is having for one only that is a negative app okay and this one based upon this we need to move into this particular app location and then we need to work okay how we can able to switch into the chrome view uh in that particular web view location and then how we can able to validate something content and how to switch back we'll see into the later video session okay thank you for watching please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues thank you